Hey everyone, uh, Jimmy here from the men's soccer team. What a cross in, and now another chance for the Ravens, and another goal! What a phenomenal cross, and it's finished off by, night, by number 14. I hope you're staying safe and, and staying healthy and doing what you can to sort of enjoy this time off that we have now. Um, it's not every day that the whole world goes on pause, so I think uh, I can find a little bit of comfort in the fact that we're all going through this together and um you know the carlton community right now can just take this time to to lean on one another and and you know just be there and support for each other um i guess today i just wanted to you know have a quick chat with you and uh fill you in on sort of what i've been getting up to over the past couple months and um sort of how i've had to make the transition of my daily life um i guess we're nearing two months of quarantine and to be honest, it, it feels like it's been a lifetime. Um, school has been going on throughout all of this and, um, you know, having to, to wake up and do an online course and, you know, go write an online final exam. It's definitely been stressful. Um, and I'm sure all the students watching can, can attest to that. It's been a huge transition that we've had to make. Um, and I do want to say a huge thank you to President Beckon and all of the administrative staff for Carlton um, because I think in the first week, you know, Carlton handled this really, really well of just keeping everyone informed and keep one up, keeping everyone updated. Um, I know personally it was nice to wake up to those daily emails of, you know, here's what's going on today and, and here's, here are the changes that we're making to sort of accommodate you as a student. Um, that was really comforting to, to have in the first sort of couple weeks of this whole I guess period that we're going through um, um, so once again just a huge thank you to president back on all the administrative staff for Carlton but where to start you know it's it's weird I guess to find myself in this in this position right now um, you know you wake up every day and you get so used to going out on the streets and and you know hanging out with your friends um, seeing people on a, on a daily basis and and now all of a sudden all of that is taken away from you um it has been a huge transition um i think you know from from an athlete's perspective especially it's it's a little difficult to deal with because i know i spent um you know the past couple months looking forward to um, training over the summer and and leading up to our fall season, um, which, you know, we were supposed to host nas nationals and now there is this cloud of uncertainty around it. And, you know, we don't even know if we're going to have a season anymore. Um, you know, so that's that's been a little bit hard to, to come to terms with and um, to sort of deal with knowing that, you know, as an athlete, you put in all this work um, on a daily basis and you know the, the only thing you want as an athlete you know the thing that brings you the most joy is just getting to compete at the highest level and um, you know thinking that that may be taken away from you it's it's a little bit hard to deal with and a little bit hard to come to terms with so if I could give you know like a word of advice to, to athletes uh, that are watching this right now um, I would say you know just continue to work on your craft um, you know, if, if not for anyone, do it for yourself, um, because there is a life after coronavirus and, you know, at the end of the day, things are going to go back to normal and, you know, we are going to get that chance to compete on the highest level. Um, so, you know, now's the time to, to stay sharp and stay focused and, and make sure that, you know, you're not only taking care of yourself physically, but, but, uh, mentally as well. And, you know, spiritually, if, if that's what you do as well. So where to athletes, you know, just really take this time and, and, and take the rest. Um, but also make sure that you're staying sharp and, and you're staying focused because, you know, there is still a season uh, coming. You know, it's it's been a hard transition to make for me. I, I'm actually in the process of moving right now. Um, so next week I'll be moving with my roommates. And uh, that's provided, I guess, a little bit of sort of a nice distraction. Um, you know, my days for the past two weeks have been spent uh, packing up furniture and you know doing furniture shopping online. So that has been a little bit exciting and um, it is something I'm looking forward to in the near future. But you know at the same time, I think 
it's important to recognize for for everyone that there is this uncertainty around the future and um you know right now nobody really knows what's going on or or you know how long we're going to be in quarantine for or, or you know what kind of measures are going to be put in place after this is all over um so you know for me what i've been doing is is just sort of you know try, trying not to overthink um because at the end of the day you know nobody has really any answers right now um so you know just making sure that you're you know checking up on your loved ones making sure that um you're taking care of yourself physically and mentally um i've been doing a lot of reading i've been doing a lot of writing um i've been playing music you know cooking trying to find i've been painting you know trying to find different things to to sort of you know keep myself busy and, and just keep myself sane i think that's the most important thing right now is you know just to keep yourself busy and to keep um the mental side of it you know that's that's really important to keep your mental um take care of yourself uh, on a mental health basis um that's something that is often overlooked and I, I think it's really really important in a time like this that we are taking care of ourselves mentally and you know we are checking up on our friends we are checking up on our teammates and, and our family and, and things like that um but you know it's 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 been nice to to sort of connect with my team and um you know we do online workouts um over zoom and you know we do actual online training over zoom our coaching staff and you know everyone over here has been doing a really really good job with keeping us um on our toes and you know making sure that um we're feeling okay phys physically and mentally and you know we are still preparing for the future um so you know we've been doing um training um via zoom um it's nice to, to log on and to see everyone's faces um you know see some people that you haven't seen in a couple months and that you used to to see every single day it's, it's nice to catch up for sure um and just you know sort of stay busy with with friends as well you know um i think this is a really important time again to to lean on your friends and and to be there for your friends be available for your friends um you know because everyone is in the same situation we are we are all sort of going through this at the same time um so it's important to keep yourself busy and and, and to keep your mind moving and your, and your brain sharp you know in terms of things i miss obviously i'm i'm human and you know i miss um human interaction uh, you know being especially a university student you get so used to every day um, being surrounded by literally thousands of people um, and now for the past I don't even know how long I've, I've been surrounded by my roommates you know just two people it's been the three of us um, so that that is definitely something I miss um, just being able to go out and, and hang out with friends and you know catch up um, it has been you know sort of nice on the other hand to to sort of get a little bit of a, of a break and to take a step back um, you know it's it's a good opportunity to for me to figure out some things that I'm good at and uh, sort of just you know hone in on on myself again and, and take care of myself and take care of the people I love and the people around me so um, that that is definitely uh, I guess a silver lining in, in, in all of this I'll just end by saying um, you know keep continue continue on um we are in this fight together um and you know it's it's we're in unprecedented times um and that may be scary for a lot of people um but again you know just try to find some solace in the fact that we're all going through this and you know as a carlton community something i love about the carlton community is that you know we're always there for each other um and i think coming out of this that is gonna uh it's just even it's gonna get even stronger um you know the carlton community is is a place that i really call home um and that's because of the people there um so again i hope everyone is is, is staying safe staying healthy and um i'll see you when this is all over Let's go! Let's go! Let's go!